she was not in there is because she was hidden underneath all of her bedding. Because, remember I said she was a relation to what? The hedgehog. So, and when is the hedgehog up? Nighttime. At nighttime. So these guys like to be up at nighttime too. But they can be up either time. They can be up during the day or at night. These certain ones. So, um, but these guys like to be um, up mostly at nighttime. Okay? Now this, does anybody know what kind of armadillo this is? Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. One, two, three. Three-banded armadillo. Three-banded armadillo. This armadillo is the only species to actually be able to roll into a ball and close up completely like a puzzle piece. If you see here, we'll, we'll try to get her all... You see, she is... She actually can close up more than what she is. But she closes up completely, completely into a puzzle piece. So nothing can get her. Absolutely nothing. Okay? So, she's the only species to do that. Now, everybody thinks that every armadillo can do that, or a lot of people do. But they can only do, like, the, you know, the rainbow effect, where it looks just like a, a rainbow. This guy's the only one that can roll completely into a ball. If you actually look here, this is a lot like a turtle shell. It is made out of calcium and dural. If you also look at this, see these here? These are little claws. A lot of people think that they're made for burrowing or they're used for burrowing. They usually are on most species. But this uh, little girl here would rather just hide underneath a bush than really dig into the ground. If you look at this head plate here, every armadillo has a head plate. But each armadillo actually has a different head plate, just like we do with fingerprints. Yeah, see, I have a hold of her right here. So remember, this is hard. So if I have a hold here, what do you think she thinks? I think maybe she might think that she's stuck on something. So the best way for her to do is to go like this to get unstuck, right? <laughs> also, if you look here, say something would try to get her like this. There's actually pieces of skin right here, and if something would come down like this, she could pop open to try to break the claw of a predator that's trying to get her. Also, most predators, oh, this is our boy, sorry, this is him. Um, a lot of people think actually that um, they're completely safe, but a lot of predators are actually going to try to reach in there and grab that belly because that's where all the fat is and that's where all the good meal is. So if a predator comes to reach in there, what's going to happen? And it's going to come down really hard and hopefully for, for the armadillo's sake, it's going to actually hurt the predator and they're going to leave them alone. Okay? But I can honestly say I've never tried to stick my finger in there because I think it would probably break my finger. Okay, that's how fast they can come close. Now, what do you think this guy eats? Bugs. He does eat bugs. He loves his bugs. And believe it or not, these guys have a long sticky tongue to actually get their bugs. And they stick that long sticky tongue out and they have this nice little, almost like a pig snout, to actually search for their bugs. And they root around and they actually find their bugs and they bring it into their mouth. And they have two molars in the back that actually grind up those bugs so they can eat. But remember I said there, you asked if you could touch the armadillo? We can't touch the armadillo because there's actually something that they can carry too. Not this guy, remember, everything is fine here, but there's laws. And we have to follow laws because if we don't follow the laws, there's a chance that we could get in trouble and then all these animals wouldn't be here for us to view, okay? And actually be able to do what we do best. But this guy here actually can be a carrier of leprosy. A lot of people don't even think that that exists anymore, that it was only in Bible times, and that's false. It is very much around. Okay, most armadillos that carry it are the nine-banded armadillos, not necessarily the three-banded armadillos.
but it's just best to be safe than sorry, right? So I cannot let you touch this guy here, but I will get out an animal that we can touch. How's that? Okay, so I will be back, and I'm going to go ahead and put him back.